What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video right now as of today It is a great time to be a sports fan NFL free agency is starting the NBA trade deadlines right around the corner But one thing it is not fun to be a fan of right now is the Houston Rockets. They've lost their last 16 games, man That is rough. That is very rough. So I thought today it was it's overdue that we do this Houston Rockets real, realistic rebuild and get them back to where they used to be obviously with the uh, loss of James Harden this season and Christian Wood being out uh, for a majority of this season has not helped them in any means So it is basically a fire sale at the trade deadline I feel like for the Houston Rockets and then build from there, man You, you gotta get some draft picks. You gotta start acquiring young players. I, I love the idea of uh, Getting Kevin Porter jr. That was awesome And he's shown some promise in these last few games even though they, they've been losing he has shown some signs of being good, so I love what the Rockets are doing mostly, but we need to steer them in the right direction and get this team back on track. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, 60% of you watch the video aren't even subscribed, change that right now, but other than that, let's get into this rebuild, let's change things up, and let's help the Houston Rockets ultimately. Then went to today's date, March 15th, and uh, when we look at the roster right now as a whole, we have Christian Wood, like I said, he's been out. Not sure when he's gonna return, uh, but I did put him back in the rotation uh, because he did play a little bit this season and I wanted him to get some minutes because uh, the first like whatever games he wasn't even playing at all so we have like Christian Wood with 15 John Wall is only averaging 12 which isn't obviously ideal he's better than that and has shown that this season Justin Patton has been getting some minutes lately and then Kevin Porter Jr. has been pretty good so uh Old Depot right now is somebody I think the Rockets definitely need to trade Old Depot needs to go by the trade deadline uh there's no reason why they should even got this guy in the first place in my opinion I think a lot of people are questioning why they didn't just get Karis Avert instead but they got Old Depot because then you could be looking at a team of Karis Avert, Christian Wood and uh Kevin Porter Jr. which could be interesting for your future but regardless, Oladipo is here for now. So Oladipo and also P.J. Tucker is somebody that needs to go as well. P.J. Tucker has been uh, awaiting a trade as well. So we definitely need to take care of both these guys right now or by the trade deadline at least. But since we're on March 15th and I've stopped here, we're going to go ahead and take care of these two right now. So P.J. Tucker, let's start with him first because I feel like he'll be easy. There's a lot of contending teams that could use a guy like P.J. Tucker. If we can get like a set, I don't know if P.J. Tucker would be worth the first. If he was, it would be like a very late first round pick, I think. So um it had to be like a protected first or something like that or or a team's contending pick that obviously they're going to be like at the bottom 25 or you know, bottom 25 to 30 picking but i feel like miami heat makes a lot of sense uh for pj tucker they could give us myers leonard and we give them a second round pick i don't love that I, I, obviously uh for obvious reasons that doesn't make a lot of sense for us so if i could trade pj tucker to miami which i think would be uh awesome or we could trade P.J. Tucker and Oladipo to Miami or something like that. That could be interesting because both those guys seem very interested in both of them. Uh, but any team, like I said, could really use a guy like P.J. Tucker. So the Clippers want to give us Luke Kennard and we give him a second. Um, we do get a young player here at least and 24-year-old Luke Kennard. That could be interesting, I guess. Maybe he could be, come here and do something for us. So maybe I come back to that. But... Um, I'm going to keep looking just in case. Alfred Camino, KCP, Reggie Bullock. So that was definitely the best offer. Caleb Martin is nothing. Okay, so um, I would love to trade him to Miami, but not for a well, not for me giving up a second round pick. So uh, instead of that, they give me, let's say, so they, yeah, they give me Myers Leonard, but they also give me a second, and I would do this straight up. If they want to do something like this, they want a second, and it's just not going to work. So I don't want to do that. So instead, I guess I'm just going to take that Clippers trade, and we're going to grab Luke Kennard. We are going to give up a second, which I don't love that, but it is just a second-round pick at the end of the day. So whatever. We get a 24-year-old Luke Kennard, and we grab P.J. Tucker out of here. So I'm, I know I'm happy with that. And then the Clippers get to compete a little bit more, and we take on Luke Kennard's contract, which is fine. He's a shooter, so hopefully he can come here and do something uh, for us. 24 years old, still has a lot of room to improve. So hopefully he can be all right for us. And then you got Oladipo, obviously, is the next guy we want to get rid of. Uh, Victor Oladipo needs to go, bro. He does not, does not need to be here. Uh, we need to trade him before the trade deadline, 1,000%. And I want young assets out of this, or a pick or something. So, um, what am I going to get, though? We'll see. We get a first-round pick from the Pelicans. Um, we got Patty Mills, Al Horford, Malik Beasley, Russell Westbrook. Okay, so I think Miami uh, makes the most sense to trade Old Depot to the Miami Heat, who have improved lately. Uh, but I don't want to do it for that. So let's say they gave me. I know Kelly Olynyk's been awesome for them lately, but he is a big contract. I don't think they trade Goran Dragic. So let's say they gave me Kelly Olynyk and Myers Leonard. Um, I think that would make a lot of sense. And then they also give me, and I'll give them like Karuks that I had in this trade. And then if they can give me like a late or a 
unprotected 2025 pick would that be something they might be interested in they want Dante x and they're gonna give me avery bradley um okay so we at least get a first round pick for oladipo that would be awesome uh, ideally to get okay we get it we do give them a second i don't think miami would want to give up avery bradley because i think he would be a huge you know help on defense once again it's the playoffs so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this trade actually let me see if i can wiggle this a little bit more so instead of avery bradley give me chris silva i guess okay they can't do that all right you know what let me go back if they want to get the uh if they want to offer me avery bradley again and we gave them dante exum um, i'll do that trade and then what i'll do is i'll send the back avery bradley because like i said um i do not i mean i don't think avery bradley here would make any sense so let's go back to miami and uh i'm gonna give them uh, i think we gave them a pick or something so i'm gonna get that pick back and just give uh get avery bradley to them so i'm gonna make that go through and then that is the only things we're gonna do at the trade deadline so christian wood john wall eric gordon uh kevin porter jay jay sean tate david nwan but avery bradley of course is gonna be gone luke Kennard. so looking at our team right now we have john wall obviously we need him to have a good season so we can trade him in the off season eric gordon who got hurt lately or recently we got sterling brown and myers leonard okay so what i want to do is i think i want to move kevin porter jr to the small forward i would like to see him start over sterling brown so we have uh kevin porter jr at the uh small forward eric gordon at the shooting guard myers leonard at the four right now christian wood jay sean tate honestly would rather start uh jay sean tate over myers leonard who uh myers leonard is in the doghouse right now for what he said on stream uh but avery bradley like i said i'm gonna send him back and then luke nard i think i want to give some minutes to as well so i'm gonna go ahead and make that happen we're gonna sell it to the end of the season and then obviously in the off season we're gonna make even more trades with the hopes of getting rid of john wall and eric gordon as well so at the end of the season we finished as the third seat 13th seed in the west but we got christian wood winning most improved player which is something we wanted to see obviously so congrats to him and obviously we're gonna simulate these playoffs and just see uh who wins the championship real quick and then i do want to look at the player stats uh, before we see that real quick so looking at the player stats we had 21 from christian wood and then we had 16 and 6 from john wall so i think john wall has shown he could still be a productive player uh kevin porter jr with 14 eric gordon with 15 uh justin Patton, when he did play was pretty decent for us Kenyon martin jr kelly olenic luke Kennard. so there's a lot of things we're going to be making uh some significant moves in the offseason philadelphia goes on to win the championship congrats to them let's go to our offseason though where we have a lot of work to do so looking at league meetings we're going to reject all these unfortunately I don't think we have our draft pick this offseason, which is really unfortunate. Um, a four, I guess it goes to the Pistons or the Thunder or something weird like that. I don't know what actually is going on with our pick. But it ends up as the number one pick in the draft, and it goes to Oklahoma City Thunder. So that is very, very unfortunate because we all know we, kinda, we honestly could have used that pick right now. But I think I've seen some people comment in the past that there is a chance the Rockets can keep this pick. So just to make sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research this draft pick real quick. And I want to make sure that uh, this is right, that we don't get our pick back if it lands number one. Okay, I'm actually reading this article, and I don't know how true this is, but this article says the Rockets have a top four protection on their 2021 first round pick, which lo looks unlikely to factor much into the equation. The Rockets may not make the playoffs, but they probably won't be so far down the standings that they'll land a top four pick. So technically, I think this pick should be ours, if I'm not mistaken um i i think anyway i i think that's what it says so if that is the case i'm gonna get this pick back and we're gonna have the number one pick in the draft let me know if that is not true i'm pretty sure that's what i just read though it said that the rockets pick is top four protected which it is in the top four it is the first pick in the draft so we're getting that pick back and we're drafting somebody because we definitely definitely need this pick for sure if the thunder are 2022 pick because if it was you know if it stayed within the protections then the pick would convey into next season so i just assume that pick i guess has been traded i think a lot so i have no idea what's going on with it but according to that article that i just read it is top four protected like i said guys if that is incorrect let me know down in the comment section below but for now i was going to assume that article was correct and that we have our number one pick in the draft so i'm happy with that and we definitely could use that right now so let's go to the nba draft and of course we all know who we're taking we definitely all know who we're taking we're taking Cade cunningham here no doubt in my mind that is the guy we're taking here not even no questions asked i know i could take jalen Suggs here as well but i think Cade cunningham is the guy we got to take here new point guard of the future john wall is still here obviously but if we could get rid of john wall and uh open up the gates for Cade cunningham to take over here in houston that would be ideal so we're gonna sign just sean tate qualifying offers justice Patton. uh definitely would love to have him back Sterling Brown, 26 years old. I wouldn't mind having him back as well. And then free agency, of course, is uh, big. So we need to trade 
Eric Gordon, ideally, and John Wall. So John Wall has a player option attached to him. There is like a couple teams I think might trade for John Wall, like the Clippers or the Miami Heat, if they were desperate enough, even though they just got Old Depot. So I don't know how true that is. But other than that, I don't really know who else would trade for John Wall. So if I threw him in the trade finder right now, Milwaukee, that makes no sense. The Bulls, first round pick, and Daniel Gafford, I don't think that makes any sense either. So the Clippers want to give me Beverly and Mafondu Cabangeli, I think is how you say it. And honestly, this isn't terrible. I know John Wall could maybe, we could maybe get like a pick for him. And I definitely would love to do that. Uh, the Thunder, that doesn't make any sense. So like I said, uh, the Clippers or the Heat were the only teams in my mind that made sense. So uh, the Clippers, uh, I would love to do this trade. And if they could give me, they probably have to give me Beverly here. They do. Okay, so let me go back to that trade. So honestly, if we could just get out of John Wall's contract, that would be awesome. But if I could grab a second on our first from them, that would also be kind of awesome. And they want a second round pick in return. You know, ideally, I would love to get more for John Wall here, but getting out of his contract would also be a W. So I am going to be trading John Wall for kind of a bag of chips right now. But honestly, like I said, if I was the uh, Rockets in real life, I would definitely want to get rid of John Wall, but I would want at least like a, a late first or second. Um, I, I, ideally, that would be like obviously ideal. Um, they do have to throw. Wait, why can they afford this Kevin Gelly? How, how much is this dude making? Making two million, but for some reason they can afford it. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. What about this pick instead? They want um, 2022 top 10 protected pick and the second round we get a 2023 first. So, sure, why not? We'll do that one instead, and we at least get something more significant from John Wall. Okay, so John Wall is gone. Uh, we traded him to Los Angeles, so now we have Cade Cunningham and Beverly's back in Houston. Beverly probably won't serve a huge time in here. Uh, huge time here. Eric Gordon, Luke Kennard right now. We got Kevin Porter Jr., Daniel House, Kenya Martin Jr., Jay Shante, Kevin Gelly, who's 24 years old. Maybe he could do something here as well. Christian Wood at the center spot, of course. So, I mean, the only other thing we really want to do is get rid of Eric Gordon if possible, but his contract is quite terrible, honestly. So, I don't know who would want him, but we're going to try anyway to see if there would be a team out there desperate enough that maybe, just maybe, they'd be like, all right, you know what, let's do this. Um... The Kings want to give me Buddy Heald. Uh, the Knicks want to give me a first. Kyle Kuzma, Terrence Ross from the Magic, um, Trey Burke. You got Will Barton and Gary Harris. Um, that definitely is interesting, but I think DeLon Wright from the Pistons, Malachi Flynn, the Spurs, Jay Crowder, and a first-round pick, Thunder, first-round pick, Rubio. And then you got Covington, Draymond Green, and Davis Breton. So I don't see anything that really makes sense for me. So I think we'll just keep Eric Gordon for this season and maybe trade him to the trade deadline or something. Hopefully he has a good season for us. But... Other than that, I'm ready to suck again this season. I'm ready to just roll with this team we got and just absolutely suck this season. So I'm not even going to try to do anything in free agency. I just want to see what this team's going to do without it. So um, yeah, Justin Patton, Sterling Brown. So we got a lot of good guys coming back. Eric Gordon goes down two overall. Beverly, like I said, is going to be a buyout candidate for us, I think, or a trade candidate because we don't really you know, have any purpose of keeping him. So um, we got rid of uh, John Wall this offseason, and we drafted Cade Cunningham. So that is a W in my mind, and we can move forward with what we got. So going to training camps, untapped potential. We have uh, Christian Wood we can throw some untapped potential at, and then Kevin Porter Jr. And then the last one I want to throw some untapped potential at would probably be um, let's maybe throw this at Luke Kennard, who we traded for. And maybe he can become a beast for us this season. We'll see. But looking at the rotation right now, we got uh, Kate Cunningham at the point guard, uh, Eric Gordon at the shooting guard, Kevin Porter Jr. at the three, Jay Sean Tate at the four, Christian Wood at the five, Beverly, Luke Kennard, Sterling Brown, and Kevin Gelly. But I think what I want to do is make this a nine minute rotation and then looking at the proficiency, three and a half at seven seconds. Who knows? We may surprise some people because we all know Kate Cunningham can be really, really good in these simulations. Christian Wood, uh, I got his shot tendency all the way up as well. So I'm definitely excited to see what's going to happen this season and hopefully we have a really good season and maybe we're even better and maybe we f maybe we find a way to make the playoffs who knows our future point guard of the nba and Cade cunningham we finished as a ninth seed so we're honestly already close to being back to where we used to be so it's just a matter of having another good off season and i think we're back and honestly at one point we were the fourth seed in the west and it was looking pretty good but we went 30 and 44 ultimately Christian Wood with 28 and 10. You got Kid Cunningham with 22. Kevin Porter Jr. with 16. Eric Gordon with 13 and a half. Luke Kennard, 9 and a half. Jay Sean Tate, 9. Kevin Gelly with 7. So we have some young guys contributing, which I'm very excited about. But we didn't make the playoffs ultimately. And we don't have our 2022 pick, which is fine. Because like I said, this time around, we were actually pretty damn good as Brooklyn Nets go on to win the championship. So we have a lot of work we can do this offseason where we honestly might even be better than last year. So unfortunately, we don't have a draft pick, though, which is going to suck. 
suck we do have a second rounder though so maybe we do something with that but our draft pick does go to the oklahoma city thunder this time as it was um i think i gave him the or wait no we got the 10th pick via the detroit pistons okay i'm not really sure how that works then um i thought i gave my 2022 pick to the thunder i don't know what's really happening here whatever okay so where did my pick go oh wait my my pick went to number four are you kidding me so the thunder have to my pick went to i wonder what i didn't even see what when we were projected to be but we were probably projected to be like 13 14 we jumped into the top four so our pick went from like 13 or 12 or 11 to four and we get the 10th pick via the pistons okay whatever um i'm a little confused but regardless we get uh steven our uh head coach back so i'm gonna go ahead and bring him back and then my assistant coach i'm gonna bring in jesse mermise or however you say his uh name all right to the nba draft now so i guess we do have a pick in this draft but it is not the fourth pick because i gave the thunder that pick uh, considering we got our 2021 pick because it was protected um but other than that, i don't really want to trade anybody so let's go to number 10 and honestly we can draft honestly whoever here i think a shooting guard would probably be ideal though um, so we have Jaden Springer, Kenny Chandler, uh, Movan, Mo, 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 Mojave King, I don't know who that is, Max Christie, Keon Johnson, Walker Kessler. Um, okay, I'm not really sure who would be. I think uh, Kenny Chandler is pretty good. He is 6'1". Uh, Jaden Springer would be interesting as well. So we could maybe move, move like Kevin Porter Jr. to the two. So I'm going to draft Jaden Springer here, I think, at number 10, and uh, we're cool with that. So number 10, he was a... 77 overall could have taken caleb houston probably would have been better uh, max christie would have been a good shooting guard kenny chandler would have been nice as well so there would have been some good picks i could have made uh, we got julian strother in the second round as well or in the late first round i didn't see that we had another pick actually so welcome in and then we're going to bring back obviously everybody there qualifying offers anthony lamb and kadeem allen and then free agency um we want to go ahead and trade eric gordon this offseason i want to open up the minutes for some of the other guys we have now Actually, Eric Gordon might have retired or something. Let me see if that is the case because he is no longer here. Player retirements. Um, Eric Gordon did retire at the age of 33. So he's like, you know what? I want out of Houston and that is a way we get rid of him. So I guess see you later, Eric Gordon. I didn't have to trade you. That made it a lot easier on me. All right, so free agency. Looking at the roster right now, if we look at it, Kid Cunningham at the point guard, we got Luke Kennard and Julian Strother at the two. Kevin Porter Jr., Jaden Springer at the three. We got Jay Sean Tate and Kevin Gilly at the four. And Christian Woods. So, shooting guard, honestly, probably a, a, a position we should address here. So, um, if there's a shooting guard out here, you know, like Luka Doncic, just kidding, that's not going to happen. But if there's a shooting guard out here that we could maybe snag out of free agency to come help us out, I would love to do that. But I'm not going to, like, go over the top. Um, so, Michael Porter Jr., you got Russell Westbrook. You got Colin Sexton. You got TJ Warren, Laurie Market, and Lonzo Ball. Um, it's, let's see if there's anybody else that maybe might maybe just slip through the cracks if someone's restricted free agency officers. Devin Chinzo, Kelly Oubre, Marcus Morris, Kevin Herter, Malik Monk. Uh, Malik Monk could be an interesting addition. 24 years old still, honestly. He did show some promise. Gary Trent Jr. is here as well. Could be a nice shooter to grab. So I see two shooting guards that, you know, could be fun to have. There's Bull Bull. But we don't really need a big man uh, unless we wanted to move him at the four or something. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Anthony Simons, Troy Brown Jr., Dennis Schroeder, Chandler Hutchinson. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw an offer at Malik Monk and Gary Trent Jr. and hoping to get one of them. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that is a 3 and D wing that we could use. Although Gary Trent, I think Gary Trent Jr. is more of a better defender than Malik Monk. So I don't really know how good of a defender Malik Monk is, if I'm completely honest with you. So yeah, Malik Monk's a C. But I'm going to throw him an offer anyway. I'm going to throw Gary Trent Jr. an offer as well, who uh, actually his printer defense isn't very good on 2K either. So, although I would like to think he's a decent defender in real life because um, I get to watch him quite a bit, but whatever. So, I'm going to give four year 18 million. I'd rather have Gary Trent Jr. here. Uh, so, Gary Trent, welcome to Houston, my friend. I would love to bring you in and you could be a nice 3 and D shooting guard, although your defense on 2K is very bad. I don't know why, but it is. So, um, other than that, I think we could use a backup big man or a backup shooting guard and we're ready to go. So, I'm going to look at the big man real quick. We got Tony Bradley, who's unrestricted. I'll give him a, like a two-year deal. Why not? So, Tony Bradley, bring him in and we are ready to go for season number three. I think, honestly, Cade Cunningham, Christian Wood are about to lead us in this playoffs, uh, playoff berth this season three, honestly. I'm very, very confident in that. Cade Cunningham already up to an 88 overall. You got Kevin Porter Jr. as well. Christian Wood showing some good Gary Trent Jr. Br uh, brought in as well. Um, I'm going to throw some perimeter defense at Gary Trent Jr. I honestly am surprised that his 
defense is only a D plus. Thought it'd be better like a C at the very least. All right. So um, let's go to 2023 because we might run another season here depending on how things go. So perimeter defense, uh, of course, we're throwing that at Gary Trent Jr. Because I signed him ideally to be a decent defender. Okay, so we have uh, Kevin Porter Jr. throw some untapped potential camp at. And then the last one, I'm going to throw this other one at Jay Sean Tate since he has been starting at power forward for us. So, all right, looking at our rotation now, we got Cade Cunningham at the one, Gary Trent Jr. at the two, Kevin Porter Jr. at the three, Kevin Gelly at the four, Christian Wood at the five, Jay Sean Tate, Luke Kennard, Jaden Springer, and Tony Bradley. Proficiency is four at seven seconds. So I have a good feeling about this season. I think we're about to make it all the way to the playoffs and be very interesting in the West. Season we got the Houston Rockets back into the playoffs, which was the ultimate goal. MVP Trey Young, Chet Holmgren, Rookie of the Year, Greg or G Greg Brown, Sixth Man of the Year on the Thunder, Ice Defense Player, Cade Cunningham, Most Improved Player, 20 and 10. 50, almost, almost 50, 40, 90. Cade Cunningham, what a beast. Nate McMillan, Coach of the Year. And Christopher Bell, Executive of the Year. So, Trey Young, uh, we already saw that. So, Cade Cunningham makes an All-NBA first team appearance. All-NBA second team. Do we get Christian Wood here as well? We do not. Okay. So, uh, all-defense first team and all-defensive second team. So, we are the fifth seed in the Western Conference going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who beat my Blazers last night. Anthony Edwards looked like a beast. Not even going to cap. Uh... Not even going to lie. I know I probably shouldn't say that other word because some people don't like it. <laughs> Kevin Porter Jr. with 19 points. Christian Wood with 22. Cade Cunningham with 28. So uh, Kevin Porter Jr. looks like a beast for us as well. And then uh, Christian Wood with 22. Cade Cunningham with 28. Uh, Kevin Gelly, honestly. Honestly, somebody you don't really expect to be anything in this league right now. Uh, 12 points starting at power forward for us. So Luke Kennard at 11. 10 from Gary Trent Jr. 8 from Jaden Springer. And Jay Sean Tate with 7 and 4. So who knows? Maybe we get interested in the playoffs and beat the Timberwolves in the first round. Uh, they got D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, Edwards, Jabari Smith, Carly Town. So very decent starting five. Still winning game one against them, though. Uh, we're up one to zero. So good start to things. Game two, we're up two to zero. Game three, we're up three to zero. And we sweep them. Yes, we do. We sweep the Minnesota Timberwolves. And we're going on to play maybe the eighth seed here, bro. And no, the Warriors blow a three to zero lead. Okay, interesting. Now we play the Denver Nuggets. Uh, so they were just down three to zero to the Golden State Warriors. So who knows? Maybe we shock. Maybe we could shock the Nuggets here. Someone in game one. They're up one to zero though. So let me go ahead and adjust the rotation a little bit. Put my best players out there. Game two goes to them as well. So let's sim cast the rest of this. So we're going back to Houston now. Let's see if we can even this series up and uh, make this series interesting. So this is Cade Cunningham's first playoffs though. So I'm not upset by any means. 121 to 102. Honestly, man, if the Warriors would have finished business, who knows where we'd be right now? We might be in the Western Conference Finals, but instead we're down three to zero to the Denver Nuggets. Maybe we can pull what the Nuggets just did and now we're going to get swept. So 116 to 103, the first seed does sweep us. But hey, we got to the playoffs and we even got to the second round as the Denver Nuggets go on and win the championship. So um, looking at the Houston Rockets roster, what we ended off with, Cade Cunningham, Christian Wood, Kevin Porter Jr., Gary Trent, Jay Sean Tate, Luke Kennard, Jane Springer, Tony Bradley, Kevin Gelly, and Kenny Martin Jr. So I don't know when the Rockets are going to be a championship contender. You know what? Actually, screw that. We're not ending it off just yet. I think we need to go one more season just to see if, just to see where this team's going to go one last season. So let's just say, for instance, one last season. Um, I want to make sure I have a lottery pick here for whatever reason. So we have the 16th pick via the Nets, obviously from the James Harden trade. I do know that. Uh, but we're going to go straight to rookie signing. And uh, we're going to have uh, those two coming in. Player options, Luke Kennard, we will accept qualifying offers. I'm going to just go ahead and bring back. Honestly, I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to bring back the same roster and just see where things go. I think that's going to be what we're going to do. So uh, free agency. Kevin Christian Wood is a free agent as well. I didn't even think about that. Let me sign Christian Wood back. All right, we'll get him back. Good. And then um, everyone else, Kevin Porter Jr. wants a bag. Oh, no. Kevin Porter Jr. wants a bag. Okay. So we're going to bring back everybody. And then we're going to see what the, how things go in season number four. Glad I decided to summon another season because we get to see the MVP year of Cade Cunningham. 34 and 12 out of the man. What a beast. You are Johnson Rookie of the Year. Russell, uh, six man of the Timberwolves. And we are the first seed in the West as well. So looking at the final player stats in season number four, we had 24 from Christian Wood, 34 from Cade Cunningham. Uh, 18 from Kevin Porter, 12 from Jaden Springer, 11 from Gary Trent. So let's just go ahead and see if we win a championship this year or not. If we don't, it is what it is. If we do, that's awesome. So somebody current round against Los Angeles Clippers. Um, we are up three to zero and we sweep them. And now we get to play the Golden State Warriors. We have Steph, Clay, Chandler Hudson, Pascal, Wiseman, JD Everson. Uh, so this is a pretty good Warriors team, but somebody current round and we lose in seven ultimately so unfortunately we don't win a championship but hey we at least brought the rockets back to 
you know, somewhat of relevancy, I guess you could say. And like Thunder with Kawhi Leonard win a championship. So I'm actually curious to see what, okay, so they had Kawhi, Lonzo, Jaden Hardy, Greg Brown. That is a very, very weird looking Thunder team. 33 year old Kawhi leads a very young roster to, to a championship. Okay. I don't think that's where Kawhi would ever sign, but hey, it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the Rockets future. I'm, I'm definitely uh, optimistic about it. I think uh, if they are able to keep their pick, and then Christian Wood comes back healthy. You got Kevin Porter Jr. D still. I think there's a two def definitely good pieces. They have some other guys like Jay Sean Tate and other guys like that. That could be uh, interesting for them in the future. But uh, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this Crushables. I'm saying peace. <laughs>